giving financially to God's work causes some people stress and other people confusion. Am I giving too much? What's the right amount to give? What does God expect? Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. I received an email a while back from a teenager who in the last 12 months had given her life to Christ. Her heart was full on for the Lord. It, it was an awesome thing to behold. Basically, what she asked me was this. I don't have a job yet and so I don't have an income except a bit of pocket money. Do I have to give money to God's work and if I can't, is that a problem? And that reflects the sorts of questions that many people have about giving. I have my financial realities over here and yet I'm told that I should give to God's work over there. How do I make that work? Should I tithe? What? So I answered her with this scripture. Luke chapter 21 verses 1 to 4. Jesus looked up and saw some rich people putting their gifts to God into the temple collection box. Then he saw a poor widow put two small copper coins into this box. He said, this poor widow gave only two small coins, but the truth is she gave more than all those rich people. They have plenty and they gave only what they didn't need. This woman is very poor, but she gave all that she had to live on. It seems that for Jesus, it wasn't about how much you give. That had nothing to do with it. He measures the amount of our giving by what it costs us because what we're prepared to give up for him tells him what's going on in our hearts. It tells him who the Lord of our lives really is. Give faithfully, give sacrificially. That's God's word, fresh for you today. Giving to God's work isn't a zero sum game because God is a God of grace. God is a God who wants to pour his extravagant grace out upon you. And that's what our latest life application booklet is all about. It's called Extravagant Grace. To request your free copy, head across to ChristianityWorks.com. You'll see that free offer towards the top of the homepage. Again, that web address is ChristianityWorks.com. And may you be blessed as you receive God's word.